Hallelujah. Before we start with the testimony, we are just going to watch a clip. And again, again, put your hand to get off Jesus. Put your hand to get for Jesus. Ya kreni yeso make. One, two, three. Put your hand together for Jesus. Where you are from and your testimony. My name is John. I'm from the north in the village of situation constituency Okaku. It was on the 31st of last month. I have come across a situation. And this difficulty came in the afternoon as I was with my friends. And later I went home. Feel like I want to rest. As I went in my room, I didn't sleep. I've been awake until 23 hours. As I was sleeping around 12 hours, something came in me that I should sleep. And I started shivering because I don't know what is talking to me. 
I tried to take a mirror because I don't I cannot see the person that is talking to me. And I put the mirror aside my pillow. That thing kept quiet and is coming back, moving at, on top of the roof of the room. And it's like it's coming to monitor if I'm sleeping, but whenever it's coming, I'm not asleep, I'm feeling that it's coming. It goes like that until 4 a.m. As I was not sleeping, I started thinking or reviewing my life back then. And as it was going, I was saying there is a person in front of me, but I cannot see who is the person. I'm only seeing the t-shirt. And as this person was going, he told me or she told me that I want you today. It must not pass without you bringing my $50. Otherwise, I'll do something to you that you'll not be happy of. I have been worried like who did I owe $50 that maybe I cannot remember. As I woke up, I give the story to my grandmother and the housemates. And I was in wonder, like, am I still waiting for the night if I was told the day of today should not pass? Something came in me that yes, I have to move. Maybe to go to towns because I cannot sleep in this room. I traveled from the north going to Krasbar. I got a bus in Ondangwa. So, we came at on the Thindi. By the service station. And I withdraw money and I went to the toilet. And as I went there, there was nobody. I just went straight. As I entered in the first toilet, I just entered and turned back. Going into another one, I found a $50 down. I was worried then, like, maybe is it somebody, something that is pushing me to pick up this money or something? But I took the money and, and I put it in my pocket. And I didn't put this $50 into my money. I put it in a, set, a, a different pocket. We ride onto our bus until we reach Tumeb. And the from the, the, the toilet where I pick up, picked up the money, it had been warning me that why should I have to pick up this $50 if I was in trouble of $50 that I am not aware last night. 
ndamo no kuja ai mbiro ntanadi no ndabu mbugu thegera shi ondako ngono madhe droga mu kuja andi ke po kanjugo mungande dikuthire ndi jonde dikuthire kone thindi mo kanjugo ngandi po kanjugo mo zume ngandi thegere shi i thought of let me just throw away these 50 dollars so i decide in some maybe where i am now let me just go in the toilet as i picked up from a toilet let me just drop it in the toilet again Mirongo na nazo nashindeze kereshi ondazi konga ndi amokambeza ndi katumba bihara janje mara umweke ango nutati pamopena umaka nisa maro nungo nunga ikanti shine kujori tapurike mombesa maanga inandi ya mkuraka I came back as I, th I throw away the fifty dollars and get back in the bus and somebody came asking is there anybody that lose anything but I don't know who was the person I was then worried like why should this person came to us in the bus how did he know maybe it was lost by a person who is in this bus if he found the same $50 in the toilet Oh, oh, Nobody says they lost anything. Even I myself that throw the fifty dollar in the toilet, I was just quiet. We came with our way and dropping people at their destination. I was still in worry because the whole journey I'm sitting aside the man that was asking of this $50. And my mind is still troubled. As we reached Okahanja, I changed my seat because this man was aside me and I'm still in thought of this $50. Oh, as we are on our journey, I know I'm going to cross bow and we are going to pass Widu. So in our way, as we are driving from Okahanja to Widu, when we pass by the police at the brook, so the bus stood somewhere. But my movement, I was not so comfortable because of the situation that I was in. So Kapesane it was at 12 a.m. in the night and as we come by a certain turn or a cave aside a mountain as I was not so comfortable of what I'm feeling, it's like the bus was stopping and people maybe are seeing my movement, so I decided let me just jump out of this bus and the people was trying to hold me. I was trying to pass through the window, but I couldn't because of the movement of people. But it's like the door of the bus opened and I passed through running away. Oh, it's like there was something that about or want to bite my feet or my legs. As I ran away, I was running around the journey, I mean the road. As it was dark, I took my torch of my phone, but I saw things coming toward me which were having lights. 
As I ran, I passed through these two things that are writing toward me. But with my torch, I passed between them, running around the, around the road. And I was hearing things like horses and lion. Some are the lion like roaring. And I was just running a distance of almost two kilometers. I got tired as I was just running in the very, I was running in the grass and it's dark. So I decided, let me just close the road. I was tired, so I decided as I'm seeing the light somewhere, let me just go there and rest because there is also right there. I've been lying there for almost two hours and around 12 past. So I decided let me take my phone and call people in my contact and people from home also. People asked where I am and I was like, I don't know where I am, I'm just at the light from that ten. So remember the ten he, he talked about when the bus stopped. So he was just telling the people that from that ten, I'm just somewhere here at the light. There have been in contact with people with Luke and police just to save me where I am. My Albertina came, they got me until we come at the church, here in the church. As we were seeing the video, of people praying for him. So he's telling us the same story that when they got him, they brought him in church, they brought, prayed for him. He was feeling good after prayer. And here he is that he is fine and he is thanking God. Put your hand together for Jesus. Once again, your hand together for Jesus. Yeah, That can you please show us where you were pinched? Because you have run a wrong distance. Viewers, that's what happened to our blood. As you can see on the screen. Put your hand together for Jesus. We can see the marks and the work of the devil. Put your hand together for Jesus. I felt something bite my tool and I ran away, yet I don't know what bite my tool. That's when he was in the bus. That's when he was in the bus. 
that's the thing bite him and also contributed to him to force him to run out of the bus put your hand together for Jesus put your hand together for Jesus after the prayer of the man of God, are you completely telling us that you are no longer hearing the, that voice? Mm, sorry. Oh, eh, I don't I'm not meeting these things or I'm not hearing these things at all and I'm grateful. Are you, how are you sleeping like? I'm sleeping too well. Kindly open the wound that where you are bitten by something in a bus. Please, we want to see again. That is the mark. congregation, what on the screen is the mark. When our brother was bitten in the bus that he claimed to be in. By a thing that he did not see with his naked eyes. And that's what forced him out of the bus. Put your hand together for yeah, Jesus. Say, how are you sleeping now and how are you feeling? I'm sleeping well. And I'm feeling that I'm fine now. Are you still afraid like you say you are afraid in life are you still afraid are you feeling that you are afraid in life even though i have the fear because i'm thinking what situation i was i'm still grateful that i will be fine because i have helped again and again put your hand together for yes Kindly tell the viewers and the congregation your word of encouragement. Oh, I just want to say this because of the situation that I was into. So I want to say this word to you. Whenever you are passing through difficulties, wherever we have problems, do not stay away from God because God helps his people. Praise the name of the living God. Say we thank you for your testimony. We also thank you for your deliverance. And we continue to say it shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen.